This is a very quick and rough tutorial on how to export PDFs with Vidographer. Another tutorial that's better organized and more thought through is coming soon, but we wanted to give you a visual reference in the meantime. So um, let's get started. Here's my pattern. How do I export it? Well, go to settings and to the export tab. If you don't see the export tab, it might be because you're not logged in. This export option is only available to paid members. Now, at its simplest, if you want to do nothing else, um, you can put in the title, you can say who created it, and then this is the default setting. You can go down and click Create PDF. So here's, here's the default. It's got the title, uh, your name, the specs, and here's an image of the whole thing, the bead list, any notes, diagrams and charts, more diagrams and charts, and then whatever other notes you want to create. Now all of that is customizable, so if you do want to play around with it, here's how you can do it. Uh, these can be dragged um, to change the order. Um, so let's go through each field. That's the that's the title. I'll just call it Brown Bear. Woo! Brown Bear. Created by me, Leah Russell. Um, these are the specs. You can you can type anything with this type of category paragraph. You can put in as much text as you want, and you can see here that all the text goes on one line, um, but that's just in the table. In the PDF, it will show the way it shows in here, which is which is on multiple lines. Um, so you can edit this information. Um, the, pro the project image is this, the whole of the project, and I'll show you in a moment how you could replace that with a photograph if, if you've beaded the project, if it's tested and you'd rather have a photograph there. Or you could have both. You could keep that and just add an, a photograph as well. Um, the bead list is the bead list. Um, these instructions and notes you can get rid of. Uh, you can get rid of any of these by selecting them here and, and deleting them. The diagrams and charts are the color charts and, and word charts, and those go together. You cannot, you can't break them <laughs> apart, um, so you choose to have all of them or not. But one thing you can customize is um, how they display in, in terms of width, and here you can see that this has a, a panel width of 25 beads, and here it's 25. So it's been broken in half, and I don't want that. I want it to display all together. So I'm going to change. I know that this project is 50 beads wide, so I'm going to change it to 50. If you don't know, you can put in a, a much higher number, and, and that, that should be fine as well. The starting bead is where you want the word chart to start, you can change that. The footer text appears on every page. So for example, I can say copyright 2021, Leah Russell. Um, it can be as wide as the width of the page. Um, so just keep adding text until uh, you don't want it anymore. The header image is where you might want to put your logo if you have one. Go back to here, and uh, there's my videographer logo. I'm going to open that up, and now you can see that's the header image. Now, I told you I would show you how to add a photograph. You can select your photograph here. That's a picture of the, the thing I beaded. Um, and now to add it into the PDF, you can click on my image and these are you'll see that this is all of the same types that are here so you can add another title uh, that's slightly smaller text the paragraph is the even smaller text 
And so that could be any kind of note. And um, just to show you, you could add more. Uh, if you have notes that you want to stick there, you could stick them there. If you've got notes at the end, you could you could put them there. Um, project image that's adding another screenshot of the um, project. Uh, the bead list diagrams. My image is the one we've just uploaded the photograph. So that's the um, oops. There we go. My image is the one that we've just uploaded. That's the photograph. So I'm gonna put that up here. And I want that rather than this one. So I'm going to delete that. So that is all looking good. I've got my title, my created by me, the specs, I've got the photograph, um, the bead list, the diagrams and charts, and that's all I want to say. I don't, I don't have other notes right now. Um, Finally, you can change the paper size. Takes a minute. Especially, you should note, for very, very big projects like tapestries, it might take a quite a long time to, to generate, but it does. Just be patient. And it opens it up. Now, I've got my logo. And, oh, I want to change that because I don't like having them on, on two lines, but I'll do that in a minute. There's the photograph. There's the footer. Um, if I want to, I could I could get rid of that page bake, but I think that's fine. And now you'll see that because we changed the 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 size of the panel to be 50 rather than I think it was at 30, so it broke it apart. Um, now the color chart appears together. The word chart is all together and that's that. So then you can when you're happy with it you can download it you can save it to your computer you can print it and you can share it put it in the common room send it to friends put it in your Etsy shop. Um, I hope this is clear <laughs> like I said we're gonna be making a much better tutorial on this and, and everything uh, in days to come, but we did want to have something to get started with. So um, please let us know if you have any questions or if we can help uh, in any way and feedback is always welcome. So good luck.